Hey guys, Herbkit23 here, and basically I was just, um, doing some of, um, the rest of the 10 gallons for the black background, but the little spray paint can that I had, which was a small hobby one, like around this big, um, it was kind of a ripoff, it was $6 at Michael's Arts and Crafts store, it was like this big, and it only did one tank, one tank and a half actually, with this one. Because I used some of it on this one. Because I wanted to do another one. Since it came out looking pretty good. Um, But yeah. I'm just telling you guys. If you do do this. um, To not use the small hobby spray paints. At Michael's. Try to get the bigger kind. Um, The bigger kind. You need to be 21 years of age. To get it. That's why I'm just. um Going with one of my friends. um Tomorrow to just. It was 21 years of age to go get one of the bigger types. Um, because they're like the same price and it would have done the work, but I just went by myself, so I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I just went over there to check what they had and decided to get it, but yeah, I'll be getting another one maybe tomorrow to complete the um, the rest of the 10 gallons. I need like let me see this one. I don't three more to go so i'm thinking about buying that big one um tomorrow um i use mache black because it comes out looking smoother and better than the glossy type but yeah i'm i do it through the outside not the inside okay just to tell you guys that um i do it through back here and then basically it shows on right here it reflects obviously but i'm doing the sides too like i did yesterday and yeah, I just put this paper in the front so none of it would have gone onto the this side. I would have left like um paint in the front. It would have looked messy, so I just taped um some paper onto here, newspaper. And yeah, basically I'm just trying to do all these tank and tank backgrounds with the black spray paint. Um, even if you want to take off the black spray paint and do like a darker color like blue or something um you can get like a paint scraper and do that but yeah i'm not really planning on changing the colors anytime soon i like the black in the back because it it's gonna make like the geckos stand out more especially the brighter ones like the albinos and stuff let me just show you one of my females who's actually um laying right now um right here here she is um so yeah, she's making her little like burrow, I guess. And you can see it's pretty humid in there. Not too humid, where mold would grow, but nice and humid. But yeah, I don't want to disturb her too much. Let me just show you the other tank I was working on yesterday. Um, since it's daytime, the lights reflecting through the window, so can't really. We just, it looks better when all the lights are off and everything in the night. But yeah, that's how it looks. I'm planning on changing that dish, taking it out and using it for um my other geckos and getting like the ceramic ones that I have that are black and stuff. Like these. These types. So yeah. Um that's what I'm gonna put inside. I'm gonna get the black ones that I have. In my closet and just use those but yeah there's gonna be for the expo pickups that I'm getting um as you can tell they're gonna be leopard geckos um one's gonna go in the bottom tank right there and one's going up here I'm putting a heat mat right there later on I have I just have them in my closet I'll take them out but yeah it's kind, this is kind of like a little update and I'm gonna do um a black background for that tank, and um, this one's already done. And then I'll add a LED light over here in the bottom, so I can just turn it on and it'll look nice and bright. But yeah, as you can see, the LED light is off. It runs on these um some batteries. Just hold it for two seconds, like uh, it shines right there. Um, but yeah, that's that.
it's like a little hood, I guess, reflecting thing, but, um, yeah, um, actually, I'm doing an unboxing video on Thursday, so stay tuned for that, that's gonna be my bowl master rack that I ordered, so, I can't wait, um, it's gonna be, um, it's a 15 quart tub to rack, made out of melamine, pre-drilled and everything, being shipped out to me from bowl master, so yeah, um, but yeah, just stay tuned for that. It's gonna be on Friday. On Friday or Thursday, it might be delivered. I'm gonna do like unboxing video, and then I'm gonna do a like um a overview, like how I set it up and stuff. So yeah, just stay tuned for that, guys. And here, P23 out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.